what was that like when it didn't happen right away for you? Where, where it took you a while to get, you know, to, to make it translate all the way? Um, I don't feel like it was an issue of track translating to football. I feel like it was an issue of comfort, comfortability with myself on the football field. No, yeah, I had accolades in track, but, you know, managing the two has never been really an issue for me. It was really just me coming into my own a player, um, telling myself that I can make plays, telling myself that I can, you know, do things on the field that are special. And be, that may be because of track, and, and that's also just because I'm comfortable in the football field. And, and last year, you came roaring down the stretch. I mean, what... what what was the switch that got you onto the field where you were playing at a higher level last year? Um, Late last year. I just feel like, you know, I've, I've talked about it earlier, the, that love for the game, it really just has, like, surged back because, I mean, my freshman year, it was a little iffy. I was a little, you know, up and down. I was a little, you know, not making a play. I was thinking a lot. And then when I just, just – everything just started to slow down, and I just was like – Shoot, this is still football. I've played since I was seven years old. So once that happened, once that you know came to me, I just was like, I don't even care. Like let's just make, let's just go ball. And that's what it was. It was just balling. And then once I got over that hill, it was downhill from there. From a schematic standpoint and approach standpoint, is there much different between Clark Lee and Mike Elko's defense? Um. I would say Coach Lee brings a different element than Coach Elko did. Um, you know, he 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 has a different. Uh, we have a different, whole different motivation, a whole different, you know, set of uh, principles that we're gonna abide by. And um, I feel like there's a whole difference, and we're gonna we're gonna prove that difference this year in our play and stop, you know, being inconsistent, having those up and down practices. We're gonna be more consistent. We're gonna be more, um, you know, just playmakers. And I feel like this defense is really gonna come along this year. Come on, last one from me. Houston Griffiths moved over the safety. He looks pretty good out there. I'm curious your thoughts of him playing safety and where he can take that. Yeah, so Houston has been, you know, he's been making plays. He's been doing his thing. I mean, I feel like he's definitely in that comfort position to where he's just out there running around and doing his thing. And um, I feel like he's definitely coming along, and that speaks to the depth in that safety room. Those guys are competing just like we are every single play to, you know, go make a play to be on the field. I mean, everybody wants to be on the field, but we're fighting for it. Like, it's every play. I mean, every day it's like you come slacking, you might be a three, and and it's just that's just how it rolls. So, I mean, Houston coming along is just, you know, making more competition for guys like Jalen, for guys like Alohi, Stud, those guys. I mean, we're all, Nick Coleman, we're all moving, you know, in the, in the upward direction. So we've all got to get to that level. Thanks, Troy.